All right, I got some water and we are gonna get the chili and macaroni on the heat. So we're gonna add it to the line. Perfect. We're gonna lower this in. And the bottom one starts to sizzle right away. Now as far as let that get going, this chili mac is a dense brick. It is gnarly. I'm going to insert it on one side of the heater. Push down that food. And then I'm going to warm up the vanilla pound cake like I did the other day. Put that on the other side of the heater. I can smell it, it's activated for sure. I'm gonna use a rock to set it against. All right, easy enough. We're gonna taste it as prepared and then add the crushed red peppers. And then we'll add the cheese spread with jalapenos to make it truly a chili and macaroni and a cheese. Let's try these uh, Kempered beef snacks. Kempered is normally a term I found out that has to do with uh, preserving fish. It just means to preserve and dry. Okay. I mean, it looks like a beef snack, chopped and formed. Uh, beef, brown sugar, water, salt, vinegar, flavorings, including Worcestershire um, powder, that's cool. Uh, garlic, sugar, spices, soy solids, and then a list of uh, preservatives. I'm not gonna tell you, cause I cut but this thing was hard to get into. Artificial smoke. And black pepper really comes through. I'm not hating that. It's got a very rubbery texture. It still breaks apart. Like it's not chewy without being gum. It's very fatty. I can feel it in my fingers. Overall, I wish it was a little bit bigger. It's only 70 calories. And it could be 30, it could be 30% larger. Have a hundred calorie snack, and that'd be pretty substantial. I think the pepperoni sticks were about that. Tootsie Rolls. Yep, two 50 calorie Tootsie Rolls. These are actually really good, especially if they are just as soft as the ones I had the other day. In learning my mistake, making the fruit punch last time, I'm gonna make sure I get all the powder. And I'm just gonna to top this off to get the full 12.
just under 12. I really want this to not be weak. All right. That's, that's, that's a lot better than the other day. I probably missed at least a teaspoon, if not more powder, when I made this the first time. That uh, does all make all that difference. It's almost effervescent, the fizz to it, but it's not necessarily from CO2. Okay, here's the crackers. Did you hear that? It wasn't quite a snake. It was like a... But that's the first successful noise we've had. I think Steve would be proud. A look at these. And then I'm going to do the two minute challenge. A little more intact than the first time we did this. Vegetable crackers, I think are a little more brittle. There's one. Here's two. My game plan the first time was to do small little bites. I think I'm just gonna try to get in my mouth and power through it. So we'll try that. Okay, I'm over the sink. I'm gonna do the two minute challenge on the crackers. This them here. We're gonna start this on the 15. Okay, ready, set. Oh, mm. so So I got the first cracker in. Chewed up really well, very dry, in about 35 seconds. Just under a minute, I was able to start to swallow little bits of it. So I felt pretty good. I was halfway there, ha almost halfway through. Put the second cracker in and just saliva stops. It's so dry and cakey. And when the saliva does kick back in, it just becomes one massive golf ball size cracker. I'm not sure what the trick is behind it, but that's far better than the first try I did it. This is getting warm. Okay, so I took the pound cake out and rotated the uh, chili mac, just to get even heating. It smells so good. Again, an overpowering vanilla smell. Doesn't quite come through on the taste, but uh, it is a nice little treat. This is considerably warmer than the other day. There's like a grittiness that's like sugar on the outside. It's pretty pleasant. And this is considerably warmer than the one we heated up the other day. It's also 
more moist. I don't know just because I heated it up all the way. Different batch. Who's to say? Very good. Save some of that. All right. This is still, still cooking pretty well. There's a little spot right here that didn't get quite as warm. Like down here is that shiny cooked through sauce. And over here is a little tepid. It smells really good though. Let's take a bite. Undoctored. That's good. I mean... It's like the texture of the taco meat, the flavor of the marinara, Oop, put all the chili in there, and then added noodles. I just added the entire pack of chili flake. I like to live dangerously. That's pleasant. I mean, immediately adds heat. Because these are dried chilies. It's the kind of heat that sticks to your tongue or the side of your mouth or the roof of your mouth. It just kind of lingers there for a minute. It's definitely better with the chili flake. Let's add this jalapeno cheese. Give that a good stir. This is one of the MREs I would not want to eat cold or even room temperature for that matter. Okay. A big bite now. Really test it. Hmm. I am very satisfied with that. My boy Chad, he was a Marine. When I told him I was doing this, this is the one he swore up and down by. And he, he's right. It is really hitting the spot right now. I would say tied with the chicken, vegetables, noodles, and gravy. Because again, that was just so and wholesome. It had like a nostalgia stew, soup, dumpling, noodle dish. But this is really, really good. Marginally beats that out. Mm. That was definitely a warmer bite. Temperature and spice came from the corners of the pouch. Nine out of ten. Would eat again. Overall, this is probably one of the better MREs. Great dessert. I really like the pound cake. As far as like a non-retail item, I don't know how that's going to get beat. Tutu rolls are good. This could have been a 10 out of 10 had those been Reese's Pieces or Sour Skittles. 
I like the flavor and, and the texture of this meat treat better than the teriyaki sticks. I wish there was a way to add the cheese and the peppers in before you heat it up. Adding that entire pack of the chili flake added a lot of spice to it. For me, it's like a seven and a half, maybe an eight. It's just a lot of chili, uh, chili flake. That was really, really good. And it was really great having the change up. It was kind of nice to have this one be far different than the last two. Happy birthday, Uncle Kelly.